Adobe is the world's leading digital experience platform company. And Merkle is one of the world's leading performance creative companies. They have a longstanding strategic relationship and they're two of Sunday Sky's fastest growing partners. So I'm thrilled to host uh, them both for this session today. Gentlemen, welcome. And thanks for joining me for a few minutes. Maybe to get started, if you guys could each introduce yourselves, maybe Stephen, if you could start. Sure, Jim, uh, thank you so much for having us. It's a great honor to be here. As you know, and I hope now everyone knows, I'm super excited about the work that Sunday Sky is doing in the experience business. And I think bringing a lot of value to our partners and customers together. So Stephen Frieder, I'm the president of the Americas for Adobe, and it's a great honor to be here. Thanks, Stephen. Craig? Thanks, Jim. Uh, Craig Dempster, global CEO of Merkle, and uh, delighted to be here today. A uh, hot topic, obviously, especially in light of COVID, and super to be with you know uh, our, our long-term partner in Adobe and our growing partner in Sunday Sky. Thanks for having me. Great, thanks, Steve. Thanks, Craig. Digital customer experiences. Some would argue they're more important today than ever before. I wanna to focus today's discussion on a few key trends and how our, our audience can take away some ideas of how to accelerate their CX transformation. North Highland recently surveyed 700 senior business leaders at brands with more than a billion dollars of revenue. And 87% of them said customer experience is their number one strategic growth priority. Yet customer experience or consumer behavior is not changing as quickly or as impactfully as these brands expect. So what do you see as the top barriers to brands realizing actual behavior change in their digital experience transformation? Stephen, why don't you start? To obviously an extremely relevant question, particularly with COVID. I mean, I think yes, behaviors of consumers are changing, maybe not as fast as we wanted pre-COVID, but what I'm seeing since COVID has come here, that behavior has changed rapidly. And really consumers now today expect to have that seamless digital experience and their expectations from brands that you know, Sunday Sky and Merkle work with every day are at an all time high. And they expect to have that great experience. If they don't get it, they're gonna move on to other places. So they want you to know who they are and make sure you're delivering relevant content to them at all times. Great. Yeah, I would, I, I would echo that um, in terms of, and I'll, and I'll share a personal experience when COVID hit. Uh, my, my mother had to move out of New York City here uh, locally near me. And I walked in, you know, every day at around six o'clock, I walk into the house that, that she's renting and see what she's doing. And she's getting a TikTok video from my, um, from my kids. She's engaged in Facebook. Um, she's, um, you know, she's ordering her products through Amazon. She's angry at Bed Bath & Beyond because she didn't get her product in time. And this is a woman who couldn't turn on her iPad about four months ago. So, it, it, you know, it, the, the, the customer experience is critical today and it needs to take place across sales, service, marketing, and commerce um, because that's the way a brand is built today. Yeah, that's, it's funny, your, your comments about your, your mother, the, the number of times I've had to actually coach my mom through uh, fixes on her, on her iPhone to be able to actually get something done is, uh, it's, one of the, it's an interesting experience, let's put it that way. In our, in our household, it's the granddaughter's job. We cover, we cover moms, we do Zoom birthdays and Zoom graduation. She's got to make sure mom's ready to do it. Yeah, my, it's, it's a delegation challenge for me. I need to get better at that. Um, so let's talk about two fundamental components, uh, content and data. Um, other than a face-to-face -face experience, I challenge any of us to come up with a content medium that inspires and motivates better than video. Uh, so maybe Craig, I'll start, you know, Merkle obviously has a powerful perspective around uh, and a practice around performance creative. In other words, leveraging data to inform the, the content. Um, can you share a little bit about what you're seeing in this area and, and how video fits into that? Yeah, so I mean, first of all, this this is why I love the Sunday Sky platform, actually, because, you know, um, we've always been a, a data driven company. And so, you know, while the consumer might not, um, you know, directly see the benefits of, of data that, that we can use to personalize experiences to them, when we can use an engaging platform like video that 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 consumers love to engage with today and inject the intelligence of data behind it 
to create that kind of hyper personalized experience again you know whether that's a sales experience a service experience a marketing experience it is um it's it's like nirvana for me and so i'm i'm you know we we just recently worked with a uh with a large retail bank um large regional retail bank in um in one of their checking programs um and used the combination of our data uh savviness um and our performance creative capabilities with the sunday sky platform and you know we saw 40 percent open rates 20 percent click rates 66 percent of the people who actually um, watch the video, um, watch the full video for two minutes. So again, hitting our target audience effectively, making that experience personalized and delivering it through video, what's not to like. And, and Stephen, any, any thoughts on you know, how to think about um, you know, data informing content as part of the, the Adobe strategy going forward? I mean, it's the foundation of you know, what we're excited about doing with Sunday Sky. I mean, that combination of making sure that you understand your consumer's behavior with a clean view of data and understanding the journey that they go on no matter what channel and delivering that great experience through video is, is really the nirvana that is great covered. We're starting to see over and over again in, in different verticals, right? I look at the work we're doing together in telco. We're really making that experience as somebody creates a way to make that, that customer experience so much better by understanding what the journey they have to go on because each customer wants an uh, individualized experience. And the biggest problem we see getting that content out, and I think Sunday Sky is really gives us the ability to do personalization at scale, which is part of the goal, of which we're seeing many of our customers trying to do together. Yeah, so to, to that end, right, data activation is a key catalyst for any sort of digital experiences that perform. And as brands are starting to more aggressively adopt CDPs and, and broader data activation strategies and platforms like Adobe's experience platform, help us understand like the, the trends you're seeing and the acceleration of, you know, these data-driven experiences that, uh, that you're, you're powering. Yeah. I mean, I think we all see, particularly when we're dealing with consumers, the Nirvana is to create a single view of that customer. And many organizations have spent, millions and millions and tens of millions of dollars or creating a data lake. But where the real value comes in, we feel is in the activation. So yeah. building on the investment that many IT organizations have done, but really creating that single view and helping people activate that has been the key in CDPs and reaching out to the new customers and understanding the right segments to go after. So, you know, we're seeing a tremendous amount of momentum in the CDP. We call it single view of customer, but it has to be the ability to activate it in real time. Yeah, I would just echo some of those thoughts there. I mean, we've been, you know, we've been building data management platforms for, you know, for 20 plus years for customers. And certainly, you know, they have modernized from a, you know, relational databases that sat in our big data centers to, you know, now sitting in cloud environments. But that's just the data management side of it. I, I agree with Stephen that, you know, that data management side not connected with a data activation capability um, you know, it just, um, and, and just a single point solution campaign tool, for example, the way that it has historically been, it's just not enough um, for the, the journey that a customer takes today. Um, and, uh, you know, I look at, I look at the, the Adobe stack and where it's gone and how much it's matured. I think the other trend is, is that we're starting to see people look at, I'm going to buy the stack right, opposed to I'm going to weave together a bunch of point solutions, um, you know, to, to begin to activate that data. So, um, so I think it's, um, I think it's, I think it's a really exciting time. I think that that real data driven customer journey that we've all kind of talked about for years is yeah. finally is finally here. Yeah, and I agree. And I, you know, just building on that, right, it's a, the data is the foundation and the content, right, and that content velocity that Sunday Sky provides is really part of the unlock that we're finding because yeah and it's bringing together the organization in a single way with another big trend that i'm seeing is you know as data silos are breaking down silos within organizations are breaking down as well where we used to be dealing with divisions and a lot of companies are changing because they understand that people are buying experiences and they don't care if they're you know buying a mortgage today or a house or a, doing a refinancing whatever it is they want to be able to have that consistent experience of we believe passionately that people are buying experiences today. Yeah, it's interesting. You, you commented about the organizational implications. You know, you, you've, you've got the, the email team that's focused on a 
set of experiences that they're going to deliver to the customer. You have the web team and the mobile app team and the, you know, the, the different digital channels that are, are activated. How do you guys think about the channel of communication to the consumer versus the touch point and the journey that you're communicating to the consumer and then the content that you're, you're communicating at each of those touch points? You know, we, we see a lot of silos and, and you pointed out the silos are coming down. But, but being able to work through those uh, work through those challenges as they've existed historically, what, what are you guys seeing? I'll go first yep. this one because I'm going to push Craig. Um, okay. <laughs> the, the, the technology is an important piece, but at the end of the day, it becomes about people and process. And that's where I yeah. think a partner like Merkel steps in and, and goes on that customer journey. And, you know, we're working with, Actually, I can say it now because we did a big PR announcement last week with, with Walgreens as we're working together and building that customer journey together, not worrying about technology, but how do we create that life cycle for them? And I think it's the people in the process and really breaking down the organizational structures where partners like Merkel really have to do that. And we have, you know, a lot of people are changing the organizations to put the customer at the center, but until you do that, it's really hard. So first of all, when I look at, I, I, you know, a lot of people like to talk about digital transformation. I like to talk about data transformation plus digital transformation equals customer experience transformation. So you got to get, you got to get the data transformation, right. Um, you know, in terms of the technologies and the data that you need access to, and then you need to get the really what the experiences are right. Um, you know, and then that will lead you to great customer experience. And, to your point, I mean, a lot of the consulting work that we do is to break down those organizational silos to be more customer centric in nature, um, opposed to channel based. And, um, you know, and I think that the, I, I think that's starting to happen. Um, and I think that, you know, now it's really about, it's really about how do you get that content across those, um, you know, customer touch points, you know, highly personalized to catch up with the technology on the data side, right? Because, you know, creating that massive amount of hyper-personalized content across that myriad of customer touch points um, is, is a lift, right? But that, that lift connected with the, with the data transformation lift, that's where, that's where the music's gonna happen. Yeah, and Jim, just one more point to build on that. And I do think COVID has severely accelerated this. Um, this is now a CEO, CMO, CIO, CFO discussion. So they are, and I'm sure many of the people watching this, you know, boards are sitting there saying, how do we switch, right? My, and it ties to your first question. I think that the consumer is pushing us there, right? Like, you know, the, the, maybe some people aren't seeing it, but from what I'm seeing, you know, consumers are driving it. It's an expectation. And I think the secret is seeing that and breaking down the organization silos is a big part of getting the success. I would, I would just, uh, uh, just pile on a little bit, but I think that uh, you know, those companies that invested in transformation pre-COVID are seeing the competitive advantages of that investment today. And yeah. they'll continue to invest more and more because they saw the competitive advantage. Those brands that survived and hadn't invested are gonna have to invest a lot more in transformation in order to stabilized and compete in the future. Uh, it's funny, I just had a conversation with an executive yesterday. Um, she was a former executive sponsor in one of our existing customers. Um, she recently took over as the digital uh, chief digital officer for a, a large retail brand uh, who historically was very much a physical retail brand. And so the, the strategy was really around driving an omni-channel approach. And, and she, she took the job, um, pre-COVID, was finalizing the transfer, you know, transition over to the new company during COVID. And so the, the, the focus around omni-channel moving from physical to omni uh, is actually now accelerated such that it's digital as the prime with the, the physical as the supporting. And so that, that process all took place in the last few months. So you know, the acceleration is absolutely real. Don't let perfection slow down progress. And I think that's a great point is you're going to digital transformation. The days of doing two or three year big programs, it doesn't work anymore. I'd look at the work we're doing with Merkel, Merkel and Sunday Sky. It's gotta be about quick wins. We plant the flag and say where we wanna go, 
showing the consumer at the center, but you got to have wins along the way. Yeah. Perfection is the enemy of good enough, right? That's, uh, I, I love that, uh, love that phrase. As we conclude our time here today, I'd like to share a video that we created in conjunction with Adobe that I think does a great job of articulating the value of data informing creative to drive a transformational customer experience. Your customers buy experiences, not products. So how can you activate Adobe's experience platform to improve engagement and inspire action? Let's see how the Adobe Experience platform with a partner like Sunday Sky can change the traditionally static medium of video into one-to-one -one video powered experiences that meet the needs of your customers in real time. We'll start with an onboarding experience where education is paramount. Even just two individuals will have different levels of understanding of a brand from previous interactions. Leveraging Adobe's real-time customer profiles, you can synthesize each person's behaviors, insights, and identities into individual video experiences that line up with where each customer is in their brand journeys. Our two customers most likely reacted to their video experiences differently, but thanks to the customer profile's ability to record and reflect what's happening in real time, every unique experience is a learning opportunity to ingest actionable insights. A person's preferences and reactions to each experience become key ingredients in driving their next best set of interactions, so each of your customers follow their own unique journey. Delivering cohesive messaging across channels at every stage of a customer's journey is difficult, but critical to brands and their relationships with customers. Leveraging Adobe Experience Platform's open and extensible architecture, along with the data in each real-time customer profile, your messaging across all channels will remain connected and adaptable to where your experience is currently being consumed across both mobile and desktop. As you consider the amount of unique experiences or journeys each of your customers could engage in throughout their life cycles, you'll quickly see the scale needed. Integration with partners like Sunday Sky allows for true content velocity, even across traditionally higher effort tactics like individualized video experiences, creating an unlimited amount of variations for user profiles. Adobe is changing the world through digital experiences. The Adobe Experience platform was built to help every business deliver engaging, individualized experiences that improve engagement and inspire action across their journeys, from acquisition to purchase and renewal. To learn more about Adobe Experience Platform's activation layer solutions, click here. So Stephen, thanks again for working with us on that visual. I think it really articulates the power of combining data and creative to truly transform CX. Um, so gentlemen, any, any final thoughts before we wrap? No, just thank you for the partnership. I think the future is exciting for us all together. This is really, really exciting times for us all to leverage uh, the power of data and content and video. So thank you again for including us. Thank yeah, you. thanks guys. I, I, you know, watching that video, having been a, uh, in the data driven kind of marketing landscape for 25 years, I watched that video and I just say killer, um, you know, where we've come to. So appreciate the time and appreciate the partnership with both Sunday Sky and Adobe. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks guys, and just really wanna thank you for your time and your thoughts today. Uh, this is a very new CX world we're living in, and I think the partnership that we've created together, both individually and collectively, has a chance to really help drive transformation. And I hope our audience really uh, took, took some good points away from uh, today's discussion. Thank you. Thank you.